Hi everyone and welcome to season two of Ask Abby. We're kicking things off with something extra fun and dare I say, spectacular. I'm going to show you how to make the best astronaut costume ever based on an EVA suit, which is an extravehicular activity suit, or the big white ones that you see astronauts wearing when they're doing spacewalks. So this will actually be the first time that I've made an astronaut costume. Crossing my fingers that it goes stellar, and that I'll be the star of my neighborhood when I go trick-or-treating. Hi everyone, I'm astronaut Abby, an aspiring astronaut with the goal to be the first person to walk on Mars. Welcome to Ask Abby, where I answer all of your questions about space and science. Since Halloween is right around the corner, we're all probably thinking about costumes, right? For all of those future space travelers out there, being an astronaut is probably pretty high on your list. So for less than $50, some household items, and about two and a half hours, I'm going to show you how to make the most out-of-this-world astronaut costume on your block. And dare I say, on the internet. And parents, instead of just buying a costume, this is a great way to continue to ignite your child's passion for STEM while having a fun and educational experience making it together. Here are the materials that you'll need to make this costume. Silver, red, and black duct tape, black pipe cleaners, a black pom-pom, a balloon, and you want to make sure that your balloon is bigger than the head of the person who's going to be wearing this costume because this is going to become the helmet. White paint, fire-colored tissue paper, a white protective Tyvek suit, a bowl to do your paper mache in, poster board, scissors, of course, newspaper, plain white paper, a paintbrush, a glue gun, white glue, two two-liter soda bottles, empty, paper towels for cleanup, and some water. And of course, we can't forget the most important part of a spacesuit, which is patches. You'll probably want to go and get some cool space patches, and then also some NASA patches, or what other, whatever other space agency you want to support. And of course, remember to go to themarsgeneration.org and pick up one of our Mars Gen patches to put on your costume. The first thing that we're gonna make is a helmet because there's no oxygen in space. And that's a little bit important. The first step in making our helmet is to blow up the balloons that we have a base for it. You're going to want to blow your balloon up to slightly larger than the head of the person who will be wearing the costume. Now we'll prop our balloon up in a small bowl to keep it still while we're doing our paper mache. Now that we have the base for our helmet, we're going to go ahead and make the helmet out of paper mache. For our mixture, we'll be using equal parts water and glue, and then dipping strips of newspaper into it. So you'll just want to pour a little bit of glue into a bowl, and then pour an equal amount of water into the bowl. and go ahead and mix it up really well. You wanna mix it until you can't really see any more lumps of glue. All right, there we go. And then we're going to take our strips of newspaper and soak them in our paper mache mixture. Make sure to get the paper totally covered, nice and gooey and soggy, and place it over your helmet balloon. Once you have two or three layers of newspaper paper mache on your balloon, you'll wanna go ahead and take some strips of white paper and do the same thing. And cover your balloon in one layer of white paper strips, like so. This will help make sure that it's a lot easier to paint your white paint on without the newspaper showing underneath. Once you finish your paper mache, you have to wait for it to dry, which could take up to six hours. 75 years later. Once your paper mache has dried, we are going to go ahead and paint it white. Just get a nice layer of white paint over your entire helmet. Now that we've painted it, we have to wait for the paint to dry. While we wait for that, I'm going to go shave my beard. Now that all the paint on our helmet has dried, we're going to go ahead and cut a faceplate out so that we can see out of it. 
Since I'll be using an X-Acto knife or a sharp pair of scissors, I'm going to need some adult help. Can I get an adult in here? Abby? Whoa, Mom, how did you get here so fast all the way from Minnesota? It was magic, of course. Aww. Wow, well, will you go ahead and cut this for me? Ta-da, I did it, and I added a microphone using a pipe cleaner and pom-pom. Wow, Mom, you're the best. No. Now go away. This is Ask Abby, not Ask Mom. So now that we have the mouthpiece on our helmet, that's really important so that we can talk to ground control. Um, excuse me, Houston? I think we have a problem. The uh, Houston, go ahead. This costume is just too awesome. Now we're going to make our rocket fuel jetpack, which isn't completely accurate. When astronauts are in space, they don't actually use rockets to move around. They use something called an MMU, or a manned maneuvering unit, which is like a backpack that they wear that's full of compressed gas. And when they expel that compressed gas, it propels them in the direction that they want to go. However, fire looks so cool, so we're going to use that instead for this costume. To do so, I've got three layers of tissue paper here, our red, orange, and yellow, or whatever colors you want to use for your fire. And I'm going to go ahead and just roll them up like this. Doesn't matter if they're particularly tight. Once they're rolled up, roughly in the middle, take that and scrunch it together. Take your scissors and cut each of the sides of your jetpack flames. Now that we've got our flame strips cut, we're going to go ahead and put them into our two liter bottle. And you can just separate out your flames a little bit if you want. Okay, so that's how we're gonna make the fire on our jetpacks, but now we need to make our jetpacks look cool and futuristic. And to do that, we're gonna use silver metallic duct tape. So you'll want to cut strips of silver duct tape off and then wrap them around your bottle. So you'll keep doing that, wrapping strips of duct tape around your bottle until you have a fully covered product like this one. Once you've finished covering your rockets in silver duct tape, we're going to connect them to our poster board using black duct tape. Ta-da! Now we're gonna put the decorations onto our EVA suit. But instead of using a real EVA suit, which would cost two to $12 million, we're gonna go ahead and use this white personal protection garment from Amazon. EVA suits usually have red lines around the waist and the arms of the astronaut, so that's what we're going to put on ours. And we're going to use our red duct tape to simulate that. So just cut off some strips of red duct tape and we'll go ahead and put those on the arms of our suit and also around the waist. And now for the most important part of our astronaut costume, which isn't the life support or the helmet or the jet pack, no, is patches. So we have some cool patches here and we're gonna just use a hot glue gun to stick them on. Alternatively, if you don't have patches, which you can order pretty easily online, you can color them on with markers or with paint. Now that we've finished all the pieces of our costume, we just need to assemble it. This costume is easiest to put together if someone is already wearing the white part of the suit. If only I had someone wearing it. Huh. Ta-da! <gasps> hey, Emily! Hey, Emily! Oh, perfect. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put the jetpack on Emily using our silver duct tape. The great thing about the silver duct tape is that putting it on makes it look like you have straps of your uh, jetpack. There you go. Yay. And now, for the last piece, we're gonna put the helmet on. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> there you go. Aww, isn't she so cute? You're so cute. Glad to know. So kawaii. So now we are done making our astronaut costume, which I think is pretty great. If you go ahead and make this costume, make sure to tweet it at me or Instagram it to me or Facebook it to me. So basically just tag me and the hashtag AskAbby and who knows, I might feature you on my page. 
It was a lot of fun to make and it looks pretty darn cool, which we all know that the cooler you look on Halloween, the more candy you get, right? Totally. This is true. How it works. <laughs> so I think this is a pretty astronomical costume. Would you say so? Again with the pun. <laughs> you might even say that it's out of this world. No. You want to know how you make a costume this cool? No. You plan it. That's all the time we have today for Ask Abby. If you liked this segment, go ahead and click the thumbs up button and like us. And also subscribe to make sure that you see all of our future episodes coming out. And if you have a question that you want to see answered on Ask Abby, you can do so by tweeting it to me with the hashtag Ask Abby or by submitting it at themarsgeneration.org, which is linked below as always. Want to join me in our goodbye catchphrase? I'd be glad to. <laughs> Great. Until next time. Farewell, fellow travelers of Spaceship Earth.